QuantumScape CEO tweets update on 10 layer cell results. In this report, I'm also going to tell you how many layers QuantumScape needs to make a commercialized solid state batteries. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. So QuantumScape CEO Jagdeep Singh today posted a positive update on Twitter. Here's what he said in his tweet and saying encouraging early 10 layer cell cycling results now at 200 cycles with 96% capacity retention at 1 Celsius, 1 Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius, generally in line with what we've seen for our single and four layer cells, reads the news tweet. The company also filed an SEC Form 8K to memorialize the update. QuantumScape today was down 0.51% in pre-market action to $21.60 three cents shares of quantum skate trade below their 10 day 50 day 100 day and 200 day moving averages so what does this mean i'm reading the comments under quantum scape ceo jagdeep singh's uh, update again let me read that update again it says encouraging early 10 layer cell cycling results now at 200 cycles with 96 percent capacity so here are some questions that people uh, raise under his tweet saying one person name, uh, named Vic Korajian says great news market doesn't seem to buy into your so-called encouraging results just wondering if there is any real substance on your new so-called encouraging results stock is down an additional five percent bleeding on this stock never seems to add another person says market is rigged they should fight it of course but seems that they don't care another person says the sell capacity retention per cycle so far is over 99.98%. Now, another person says, wow, congratulations. How many layers start considered at as commercial that's what we need right this is we're talking about here success with 10 layers and another person named kevin hinner says quantum scape sec filings say they need over 100 layers of commercial viability so quantum scape needs 100 layers to make commercially viable solid state batteries and right now there looks like a 10 percent uh, saying that 10 layer send 10 layer cell cycling results are encouraging friends in july of this year QuantumScape tested its first 10 layer solid state uh, cells, uh, promising development of LFB cathode. Um, solid state battery developer QuantumScape reported then that it has made and is currently testing its first 10 layer cells in commercially relevant form factor. The cells are being tested at 1C and C3, uh, 1 and 3 hour charge and discharge rates under standard under temperature 25 degrees and pressure. QuantumScape believes these conditions are relevant for automotive applications. Again, they need 100 layers and this is a testing 10 layer cells. The 10 layer cell demonstrates early capacity retention and recycling behavior similar to what QuantumScape has already shown for single and four layer cells. In its quarter to 2021 letter to shareholders, QuantumScape said that the 10 layer results were enabled by a series of manufacturing innovations resulting in a step function improvement in separator consistency and quality a key recent focus of development team leveraging the reusable uh, prismatic can package design introduced earlier this year contributed as well quantumscape is using this package design for both four and 10 layer cells um, so here is what he said in letter to shareholders 10 layer cell on test he said we had ourselves the goal of showing results from 10 layer cells by the end of 2021 so we are encouraged that we have the first 10 layer cells this early this was in july and now quantum Skip says that they are 
having some encouraged results on tell layer sell. This reflects rapid rate of progress over the last few quarters with single layer results in December, followed by four layer results in February and now 10 layer sales in July. We will seek to continue to improve the performance of the 10 layer sales through the rest of 2021, including ongoing improvements to the quality, consistency and throughout throughput of our separator demonstrates several dozen layers in 2022 and produced test sales for vehicles on our QS0 pre-pilot production line in 2023. We believe accomplishing the improvements described above and translating them to our new higher throughput tools will be key to achieving our goal for this year and next. So it looks like QuantumScape hopes to make the first test solid-state battery for uh, cars, electric vehicles in 2023 and they are ahead of schedule. At least this is what it says. Uh, but again, I'm not a stockholder. I'm not in the stock market. This is for disclaimer. Now, LFP cutout. QuantumScape also announced that it made and tested an anode-free lithium metal cells with a low-cost iron phosphate LFP cutout and confirmed that its chemistry and cell design are compatible with LFP. Although LFP has seen a resurgence of interest, traditional LFP cells using carbon anode generally suffer from low energy density. QuantumScape believes LFP coupled with its lithium metal anode could deliver energy densities between 600 and 700 WHL approaching today's state-of-the-art NMC chemistries. In a letter to shareholders, QuantumScape also said a lithium metal anode is a natural fit for a lower voltage cathode chemistry like LFP which would otherwise need thick conventional anodes to deliver high energy. We believe this demonstrates the commercial uh, flexibility of our cathode agnostic uh, cell state solid state lithium metal platform which allows us to extend our product offerings to a broad spectrum of the automotive market. So what do we make of this news friends? QuantumScape has successfully uh, 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 tweets uh, encouraging uh, early, actually QuantumScape CEO uh, tweets encouraging results on 10 layer cells and encouraging early 10 layer cell cycling results and QuantumScape needs 100 layers for making uh, commercially viable solid state uh, battery for electric vehicles and QuantumScape seems to be ahead of schedule to make its first uh, uh, solid state battery for an electric vehicle in 2023. Now, um, we're also seeing that these, uh, uh, as, as researchers consider materials for solid state batteries, they also may want to consider how these materials could impact large scale manufacturing. MIT News reports saying the urgent need to cut carbon emissions is promoting, uh, prompting a rapid move toward electrified mobility and expanded deployment of solar and wide wind on the electric grid. If those trends escalate as expected, the need for better methods of storing electrical energy will intensify. Intensify. We need all the strategies we can get to address uh, the threat of climate change, says Elsa Olivetti, PhD, the Fisher and Harold Edmonton Associate Professor of Materials Science and Engineering. He sa she says, obviously, developing technologies for grid-based storage at a large scale is critical but for mobile applications, in particular transportation, much research is focusing on adapting today's lithium-ion battery to make versions that are safer, smaller, and can store more energy for their size and weight. Traditional lithium-ion batteries continue to improve, but they have limitations that persist in part because of their structure. A lithium-ion battery consists of two electrodes, one positive and one negative, sandwiched around an organic uh, liquid as the battery is charged and discharged, electrically charged particles of lithium pass from one electrode to the other through the liquid electrolyte. One problem with that design is that at certain voltage and temperatures, the liquid electrolytes can become volatile and catch fire. This is where solid state batteries come to the rescue and can be of great help and quantum scape research is, uh, is a welcome news, friends. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this new development and uh, 
Jagdeep um, Singh's positive and encouraging tweet of uh, early 10 layer cell cycling results. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle and electric vehicle battery news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. And also, please give us thumbs up for this report if you found it informative and helpful and tweet it out. We would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. And peace be with all of you.